Hey everybody, it's Amanda, and this is my first grocery haul that I've actually filmed in January. Okay, first grocery haul of 2024. It is the day that I am filming this is January 15th. So I have not done a major haul in a while, and I just, I'm not in a habit right now. I do think it's a good habit to go grocery shopping every single week. I'm just not currently in that habit just because of my work schedule. It's just how it is. But we got to where there was almost nothing in my fridge. Take a peek. Pretty empty. And let me tell you something, my freezer ain't great right now either. <laughs> so so I needed to shop, I really did. And uh, I went to three different stores today. I went to Food Lion, Aldi, and my discount grocery store. And I went to the discount grocery store first. They didn't have too, too much. So that's why we went to the other stores. Uh, but I spent around $100. I'm gonna show you my receipts in just a second. And then I will show you what I picked up. And I actually think I did pretty good with today's prices for under or around $100. Okay, so here are my receipts, and I have Food Lion, I spent $43.50, Aldi, $42.51, and this is my discount store, $23.85 for a total of $109.86. And this is what I picked up, and you can see, I actually, I got really quite a bit of food, including our cat food and some just some extra things. Uh, I'm gonna show you what all that we picked up here and we're gonna start over here with our uh, Food Lion. Food Lion is where we picked up the cat food. That Kit and Caboodle 13 pound cat food was $12.99 and that's why we picked it up. That's actually pretty comparable to what you get at Walmart, which is the cheapest that we can find. So uh, that's cat food. Um, I will say they're kale. I always get my kale at Food Lion if I can, and that is because it is $1.19 for a huge bunch. I don't know if you can see how big that is, but that is much larger than the bags of chopped kale that you normally get, and I like to chop my own anyway. It's usually fresh. It tastes really good, so yeah, I was excited about that. Also, their gold potatoes are on sale right now for $2.99 for this five-pound bag, and that's a really great price right now, so I picked those up as well. They do have good meat prices at Food Lion, especially if you can catch things on Manager Special. And they had these turkey patties, a pound of them for $3.59, and a pound of ground turkey was $3.79, so it was cheaper to get the uh, patties, and I'm still gonna use it just like ground turkey. So I'm not gonna use it as a patty, I'm gonna just break it up and use it like I would ground turkey. So that worked for us. I always get their uh, turkey breakfast sausage in the roll for $3.99. Again, the best price I can find. They had this manager special beef stew, which beef is the seriously hardest thing for me to find right now at a reasonable price. So a, a pound of beef stew for $4.19, yes, I am very happy to have that. So that was a great price. Uh, tasty taters. <laughs> so we were just kind of in the mood for tater tots and uh, we picked those up. Now it's not the best price. Uh, they're $3.49, but it sure ain't the worst either. So that wasn't too bad. Chobani Greek yogurt. Now they did have a Food Lion vanilla Greek yogurt and it was $3.99, but the Chobani was on sale for $5.99. And I honestly thought for the price, I'd rather pay the extra $2. <laughs> so, so that was what I got there. And that is it. That is everything that we got at Food Lion for the $43. And all things considered, I got four packages of meat. I got some produce. I got the big bag of cat food, the yogurt. These are all kind of bigger items and I was glad to get those from Food Lion. So let's talk about Aldi. Aldi was my second stop. And at Aldi, um, back here, the spinach was actually on sale. And so I paid $1.29 for that. Needed some salsa. That was $2.29. The cartons of eggs, there's actually two here. I don't know if you can see them. There and there. Uh, they were $1.60, so I did get two. I'm planning on making frittata. And over here, you know, snuck back there is some garlic powder that was 99 cents. I have three cans of diced tomatoes, three cans of sweet peas, and three cans of green beans. Whoops, I don't know if you saw that. There we go, green beans. Um, and the diced tomatoes, 
I actually kind of wanted more, but they were more pricey than I would have preferred to pay. They were 88 cents. The peas were 64 cents and the green beans were 63 cents. So we just got three just to get us by for a little while and that was that. Angel hair pasta. So that's something that Rick's been asking for is $1.89. Pasta has gone way crazy, you guys. Cabbage was 89 cents a pound. I, saw, I got a little tiny one just because I, I wanted to have some cabbage. This was $1.25. And actually, Food Lion had cabbage on sale for 69 cents, but we went there afterwards. Um, and it looked really good, by the way. So just a heads up, Food Lion checked out their produce before you go anywhere else. Um, pizza sauce. Oh, we'll get to that in a minute. That's the discount store. Uh, butter. I got the butter at... Aldi and that was um, $3.69 which again is the best deal that I can find on butter. Uh, two blocks of cheese. I got the Wisconsin Extra Sharp Cheddar in honor of my beautiful Wisconsin family. Shout out to Ricky, Alyssa, and Rocky out in Wisconsin. Anyway, and the Swiss block is, both of those blocks of cheese were $1.99 so good prices. Raspberries, if y'all don't know, I love raspberries, $2.49. Um, we also got some uncured beef franks. They were $3.29. And over here, I forgot to mention this avocado was on sale for $0.49. Cents. But you guys, my favorite deal at Aldi was this grass-fed um, ground beef. So this Simply Nature grass-fed ground beef. I was just double-checking. It's actually organic as well. And um, I, I heard about it online. I don't know if you guys ever watch Bobby Parrish, but he, he does some things um, on Instagram where he shows you good deals. And he mentioned that Aldi has a good deal on organic beef. And so I checked it out when I was there and I was actually really excited to find that these were $5.19 for a pound of organic grass-fed ground beef. And I just, I don't think that you can beat that, honest to goodness. I, I just really don't. So if you're looking for something like that, definitely check that out. But that was my favorite, favorite deal this week. Um, anyway, the rest of this is my discount store. And just a few things that we picked up while we were there. I picked up the restaurant style corn tortilla chips. They were a dollar. Stuffing mix for turkey was a dollar. Macaroni and cheese. This is the big box with the cheesy packet in it. The, the liquid cheesy packet <laughs> it was $1.50. Uh, Rick found this espresso, which he still does like a scoop of espresso in his decaf coffee. Uh, this was only $2.50 for the pilon. Let's see if you can see that there. There it is, $2.50 for the pilon. Um, so we got two of those. Pizza sauce. Two jars of pizza sauce, they were a dollar each. Jiffy corn muffin mix, 50 cents each. Those were great deals. Um, Rick's decaf coffee, these are 8.75 ounce bags for $1.99. So we got three and we've just kept stocking up as long as we have them. And then all of the breads were a dollar each. So I got uh, Thomas's English muffins. Underneath there is a, I think it's a 16 pack of, yeah, golden hot dog buns or 12 pack from uh, Ballpark. We got two bags of flour tortillas for a dollar and then two loaves of Italian bread for a dollar. So, you know, the price is a bread. I mean, I actually think the price is on this Thomas's English muffin somewhere. I thought I saw it was like originally like $5 or something. And I was like, wow, that's just crazy. And then the hot dog, if you were paying regular price, you know, if they were $3 each, <laughs> that's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen dollars worth of bread that we got for six dollars so i mean that's that's a tremendous savings right there but anyway i thought we did pretty good i thought we got a lot of really great stuff for right around a hundred dollars and uh considering that's a couple weeks worth of groceries i mean that would put us right around fifty dollars a week and uh, i think that's not too shabby not too shabby okay i i'm going to put all this away but i will say that i thought i did pretty good with my meat prices I was really trying to stock up on something that wasn't chicken because we have so much chicken in the house because I had gotten a chicken box. So we've been having a lot of chicken lately. <laughs> I was like, please let me find something that's not chicken. So finding the ground beef deals, the breakfast sausage, uh, the ground turkey, that's, that's just something to give us a little variety. But I probably have like seven or eight um, whole chickens just sitting in my freezer and that's probably about it. So, and then having all the extra eggs too because I have made some things with eggs. Little produce, I mean, I think we're doing too, pretty good. So, this is it. My first grocery haul. 
of 2024 and I hope that you are enjoying it. I know I've been do showing you guys grocery hauls from 2023. I'm trying to keep up this year the way that I was previously, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> so anyway, if, if you like the grocery haul, let me know in the comments and I'll try to keep them up. But thank you guys for hanging out with us. I hope you saw some good deals and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.